and the farm was out in the back paddock one day years ago. A big whirly went come through and caught his hat and when he got back to the farm it was on the front veranda ten miles away. Jesus. And also there's um a story about this English family that came out to Perth in the early twenties. Grandmother, mother and father and three kids. Driving across the Nullarbor, their grandma passed away. Because of the heat she started to smell, so they put her on the roof racks and when they got to Adelaide she was missing. True story. My name is Ross Minut and I'm from Campbelltown. We moved up here in 1980, plant lots of veggies and trees. I like to tell you a few yarns about travelling around Australia. Six a jelly night on rabbits and let them run down the burrows. And would you believe it, one ran under his four wheel drive and blew it up. And it's a story about the Murray River and the paddle steamers in 1895. This bloke was <coughs> supplying firewood for the um, paddle steamers and one Irish bloke called in and got a lot of firewood without paying so next week he stuck a stick of gelignite down a hollow log and the bloke got in the paddle wheel halfway down the river and blew up and that was it <laughs> and um, we might go for a little walk up the back and have a look at the farm see you in a minute hello again this is my wine collection Around here we have all the captain's chairs around the table and the fireplace. And these are made in 1920. And they're called captain's chairs and my cousin John does them up for me. I've right. got six at the moment. Some are worth 300 bucks each but they're worth it. This is part of the journey around the farm. This is a cherry guava tree loaded with cherry guavas. This is my Hilux chute that I live in when I'm travelling around. I'll just get me hat. How many k's have you done in the Hilux Ute? 80,000 so far. Wow, and what's the biggest trip you've done? To Alice Springs and up to Darwin for four, four months in each place. Awesome, and did you have it, was it a good trip? Yep, met some swaggies and some good farmers. This is a garden the family planted a couple of years ago. You can see the red flowering gun happening. A few other mallies. Just going up to the wood heap. I'll show you my axes. This is an axe from the American Civil War. I collected years ago. This is my broad axe that I collected years ago. Bit of a collection. Hey. We're standing now in Ross's orchard and he's going to give us a quick tour of the fruit trees available. Pomegranate, got one on it. European chestnut, there's a few chestnuts on it, mango behind you, got some little mangoes on it, the blackberry bush, got some blackberries on it, macadamia nut, Mexican pajoa, got fruit on it, little fruit you can see, apple tree, pear tree loaded this year, the macadamia Jackson gave me, an avocado tree with little avocados on it, palm mm -hmm. trees. Morton Bay fig tree, my favourite bamboo. Just because it's long and skinny and beautiful colour, it's Thailand bamboo. This is a strangle of fig in a stump. That's been in 10 years. Cabbage tree palms, a keg of beer, forest. Tiger grass from India. The tigers live inside the tiger grass. Grapefruit on this year. They'll be ready in another two months. This is a nice stand of yellow bamboo. Worth about a hundred bucks a cutting. Monkey puzzle tree, this bunion up pine. I got this at Blackhead Markets about 20 years ago. I'm going to make a real teepee out of it one day. This is a um, oak tree that Uncle Jack planted. This shack was started in 1990. and was built from an old floorboards off house in Tuncurry. It's all tallowood. And these windows are from an old church in Ultimo. Cedar church doors, eight feet long. Now, would you like to come in my castle? <coughs> Just different bits of furniture around, and my bed, and storm cloud, dingo. And then in through here is the fireplace. Get the fire going in winter time. 
Nice and hot. And this is the back door. Goes out to the back veranda. My dolphin skull. Foot found down Blackhead Beach. Saddle collection. You know, I've gone for a carton of beer each. This kill fires for 25 hours. Stoneware glazes. I've had about six firings. It's gas fired and I make my own glazes out of this stuff as you can see. Well, it's all rock and ash glazes. And I just, when I have an open day, it's just family and friends. This is a bloodwood tree. Man. More rain coming, do you think? We planted a heap of trees through here, as you can see. Little palms and a uh, wheel of fire tree. A dawn redwood. And over here is a fairy tree. Kangaroos used to live in it when we first came here. That's a big tree, that one. It was too rickety, so in a storm it would have blown over, so it would cut it down. This is a um, Queensland bottle tree. It has a big fat trunk. A um, silver gum. This is a tent. This is an English oak tree. They're quite, that has acorns. This is a um, Japanese black bottle, black pine, cost me four hundred dollars. Red flowering gum with Hitchin Brook Banksia and a pink grevillea. We walk down the dam. Yep, there's those turpentine trees just in there. Here's the dam where we got um, yellow berry, yellow belly, and Murray. There, there's also a bunyip in here. You can hear it some night screaming out. When I was a young man I carried my swag Wolf's my Matilda all over 1915 the country said son Lay down your swag, there's work to be done And they gave me a tinnet and they gave me a gun And the band played waltzing Matilda As a ship pulled away from the quay Amongst all the flags waving and tears We sail off to Gallipoli